Now, Suriel, um, you are the president and director of uh, IBM Indonesia, but could you not to talk about IBM, but in response to uh, Minister Pangesta's points, um, she made some interesting points that I wish that you could comment on it from a multinational <laughs> company's perspective. She mentioned the salient features of today's uh, demand and the salient features of global value chain. Mm -hmm. Regarding the, to the demand, she mentioned about trade in experience. Mm -hmm. She mentioned the just-in-time goods. Uh, we, we used to use JIT as a term for supply chain, but now she's mentioning just-in-time goods. Mm -hmm. So this is regarding the demand side. In terms of the supply side, she talked about knowledge-based global value chain, using the example of Hollywood, Korea, Indonesia, and so on, so Taiwan and others will get in. Now, what's your comments from a TNC's perspective? How do you position yourself in this new setting features of the global value chain, the new market, consumer market? Okay, thanks. Uh, actually, you broke my heart. You know, I'm preparing like 50 pages of chart well, I decided not to show it, which of course, I'm just kidding. Uh, first of all, I like to commenting and capitalizing on uh, Ibu Mari Pangestu's uh, comment with regard to the emerging market, right? Uh, she's so spot on with regard to how the market is changing, how the uh, Indonesia is blessed by demographic bonus uh, with the growing middle class, but I think the key point there is actually uh, how the market all over the world is actually changing. And that's how we look at it. And I urge all of you to also shifting your paradigm to look at the market is actually changing. Allow me to shift gear a little bit. You know, I know that you know, this is after lunch. You know, normally we all very tired and start to be very sleepy. You know. So let me just do a simple test to all of you. I need your help, right, by the raise of hand. How many of you that has been at least hearing or listening or watching something called Gangnam Style? <laughs> okay, by a raise of hand, please, if you're still awake, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Gangnam Style, okay. Even here, I saw this, uh, <laughs> Minister Mari is also raised his hand. Now, let me ask you, still the same questions. Do you know who is the fat boy singing that Gangnam Style. Who's the name? Sai. By a raise of hand. You see? <laughs> so I can tell you, judging from how many of you raising the hand, it's only like less than 5% of you knows actually who sings the song. In the past, if I like the song, I will probably, 99% of the case, know who sings the song. You see? You see how the world is actually changing, right? So again, you know, uh, I'm urging you, maybe this is too motherhood statement, you need to change your paradigm. The world is changing, right? Now, uh, I know that time is very pressing, James, so I'm just giving you some examples from the IT point of view, and I promise I won't talk about IBM at all. So a few months ago, I was going to Tokyo, and I was stranded in one of the supermarket. Ibu Mari is spot on also when you say that all the decision now is being monopolized by women, you know, including the uh, tourism things, you know. So I was part of that victims, actually, Ibu. <laughs> <laughs> so I was stranded in one of the supermarket. Uh, my wife's tr uh, trying to buy something, and we want to buy this meat, a pack of meat. As you know, in Japan, you know, all of these packaging things and all the sign there is in kanji, in Japanese character. So we have no clue at all what to buy and what actually is in our hand. So one of these uh, very helpful shop assistant, she doesn't speak English well, but she actually urged me to take that package to go into a corner where they have a machine there, which basically is a simple a barcode and RFID reader machines. So I put the package in the machine, and what happened is the machine is actually telling us where the meat is actually coming from. And not only where the meat is actually coming from, they actually can tell me 
at what day actually the call was being, you know, and then where it packs, where they ship, which farm, and in fact, there is a farm owner in that information. I was thinking that, what is this for? You know, it's too fancy probably to all of us, right? But then when I realized a couple of years ago, our neighboring country, part of ASEAN, is actually got hit significantly because they are exporting shrimp, very big amount, very big volume every year to uh, European Union. And happened to be in one of the inspection, European Union found out that there is this chemical agent within the shrimps to maintain the freshness of the shrimp, basically. So, because the European Union could not really lo locate which farm that caused that, they basically banned the importation from the whole country. So that country, the business, the export business for shrimp, the whole year, is going down the drain. It's practically gone. Because by the time uh, U European Union said that, then what happens is, the uh, FDA and uh, in, in the US is doing the same, right? So today, if you look back, you know, using the, uh, the eyes from the global value chain model, this simple food traceability, it will help you in actually being not only competitive, okay, but also being, to, uh, it will be helping you in surviving in the very difficult and changing market landscape. And some of you may say that, come on, that IT stuff is expensive. But when I take a look at the solution itself, it's basically it's not coming from IBM, by the way, so I'm not trying to sell anything here. Uh, the things are actually, it's a symbol of a barcode solutions. And some of it, those that actually more advanced is using an RFID, radio frequency ID. But the barcode solution is just exactly the same thing like what you see in the supermarket, you know? So it is actually, it's a very cheap solution to start with. So I like to stop here by saying that again, you know, the market is changing. If you would like to really be successful in the global uh, value chain market, you really need to look at things that you can do to differentiate yourself, to serve the market better, mm -hmm. and don't forget that IT is the key, or very crucial in terms of enabling your success to go for the global market. Thank you. Thank you very much, George.